glad you asked about the history of the store. It's an interesting one. It was started by my father-in-law, Harry Novak. His name was spelled N-O-V-A-K. And if you uh, notice the sign, it's spelled N-O-V-A-C-K. In fact, the sign that you just took a picture of up there, the neon sign, um, was the first sign that a sign manufacturer had made. And um, it was depression. And uh, when the uh, sign maker delivered the sign, uh, my father-in-law noticed that there was a mistake in the spelling. And since it was the sign maker's first job, he didn't have the heart to tell him to do it over again. So he lived with a mistake. Uh, and even though the family name was spelt N-O-V-A-K, the store has always been known as N-O-V-A-C-K, Novaks. So, but the point is that this building has been green, and we've been green before it was fashionable to be green. Everything inside the building, which you'll come to see, has been repurposed. So we've used floorboards to use for walls and brickwork that was always there uh, to use for decoration. So you be interesting when you go to get inside the store to be able to see it for yourself. So come on inside and uh, we'll take a look at uh, why this place is so interesting. If you take a look at the floor, the floor is uh, the same floor that's been here for almost 80 years. Uh, it's the original flooring. Um, it's called Battleship Linoleum and it stands the test of time. It's been here for literally 80 years. You could see everything right down to the bare bones of the building and the floorboards and uh, everything else, but it looks like an old country general store, but it's a lot more than that. Inside the store we have a variety of departments. Uh, we have everything from outdoor outfitting to travel wear to travel goods uh, to a bookstore that helps you to plan your travel. Uh, we'll take a look around and we'll see what we have. We'll do upstairs two floors, upstairs and downstairs. So let's start through here and we can walk through our camping department. Uh, we have literally over 120 different backpacks to choose from, both downstairs and upstairs. The ones downstairs are the day bags or the day and a half packs. The one upstairs, which we'll get to see, are the ones that you used to run away from home with. They're bigger ones and they, they, uh, they help you travel and run away from home. Um, and we have everything that you would need, that you would ever need on any of your travels or trips or camping, from water filtrations to harnesses to climb trees to hammocks to sleep in to water bottles, uh, you name it, it's all here. So then if we go a little bit further down, um, by the way, we have one of the largest selections of Swiss Army knives in the country. We stock every brand, every kind of Swiss Army yes. knife that they do make, uh, here, right here. And um, a little bit further, you'll see here, we have our men's clothing department, right through here. And you can just pan around through here. Uh, the cash desk has been there ever since and that safe that's there is over a hundred years old and it's still functional we use that every day uh, it's still a safe that was kept here from over 80 years ago so we just walk through here and um, we get a sense of our hiking department and footwear department Again, we have over 120 different kinds of shoes, right down to the more popular five-finger shoes that uh, become very popular with runners and walkers and fun stuff, neat stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, so that's through here. And we really specialize in fitting people, making sure that um, even if they bring in their orthotics, so we help them uh, fit the right shoe, the right boot for walking, hiking, trail running, whatever it is that they may be doing. And then through here, a little bit further, we have our women's wear department, and now we're just changing over from uh, summer uh, to uh, fall goods, and then some are starting to come in. And um, we can just keep walking through. Again, if you look down, you see the original floor in the building. Right down to our winter wear, the more popular Canada goose coats. And then we walk upstairs to the second floor. This is our travel and outdoor bookstore that I referenced a little earlier. 
And if you uh, pan around to this wall over here, right here, you get a better view from here. This is a, a world map. It's a little old. It's a, as old as when the Soviet Union was still around. But we keep this map here for people who are traveling because it identifies where they're going. But the interesting thing about this map is that um, it's called a Mercator map. It's developed by an Italian who had no regard for anything south of the equator. So if you take a look at Sweden, Sweden is not really that large. And it shows it being larger almost than the whole of Brazil and Argentina. <laughs> Just because he had nothing to, of regard for anything south of the equator. But the fact is that this map is still used by the U.S. Navy because of the shipping lanes and the, and the way in which the shipping lanes are able to be displayed. So let's go a little bit further through here. Here you see some of our manufacturing that we do. We do some uh, shirts, uh, high visibility shirts for some uh, c customers of ours. We actually outfit the uh, police, fire, and ambulance with uh, their safety equipment. And then through here, we have more tents, outdoors. And of course, if you keep walking around through here, you'll see our periscope, which we acquired from a decommissioned Russian nuclear sub. It actually functions. It runs from here, 28 feet up from the second floor, through the second floor, through the third floor, through the roof line, 11 feet above the roof line, and it actually turns fully functional. It turns 360 degrees around, and you can view through here, and you can get it 70 degrees up, 10 degrees down, and it actually magnifies the image six times. So you have a little bit more perspective. But again, you see, everything in this building has been repurposed. Um, so, so we've been green before it was fashionable to be green.